Alright, welcome back to some good old fashioned Monster Train. Whether that is Monster Train's an old fashioned game that I'm playing or that I've had some old fashions recently, that's a mystery for you, the viewer, to decide. Anyways, we're doing 200 plus shards, complete rotations. Last time we were exiled Hellhorn, so Impleen, Shardtail Queen, paired with Awoken. This time we're moving on to Exiled Awoken, and I believe on the docket is Plinks. That's right, we're going to Plink, see if we can't make something good. Let's get started. Gotta load up a game. There we go. Okay, ah. Diligent, how annoying. Uh, Talos the Empowered, Arcus Failure Incarnate, Seraph the Diligent. So Rage and Armor Talos, just spells and dead weight. Arcus and of course the Annoying Diligent. We got Stings, Perils, and Awake. Um, These are both quite good. We'll take the early shield scaling. And I guess we'll take Thorn Lord. That's going to help with Diligent a lot. And let's go with just the big mid floor. Um, big mid floor going, does pair well with Wildenton. Big floors just do that in general. We're going to plink. And then we sting, sting, sting. Yeah, this uh, this is great. Um, I'm gonna sting some more. I'm gonna sting again. Get rid of this one. Wow. Um, yeah, this is a very strong start. Uh. So obviously stings are good when you can sting things down. Whoops, I should have done this. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, stings are good against weak guys. Plinks are good against weak guys. If this was the armor trial, this would have been a lot different, but it was not. So that was just a very easy, nice kill. Um, I don't need any of those. At the moment, I have two perils, so I'm going to skip all these as well. Actually, the morsels wouldn't have been a horrible idea in case I do end up with morsel strategy. But I do see the Awoken banner here. A large stone. <laughs> Vine Mother. Um, there's not a good encant here, so we are going to take the Husk Hermit instead. And then we reroll. <laughs> All right, we're just going to uh, beef up a couple of stewards, make them better. No multi strike, no quick. Unfortunately, we can spell chain that perils. We can put a plus ten in piercing on a plink. We're off to a nice, solid start. Make a super steward. Well, the steward's going to help me carry early on. We can take a unit draft again. We get a nice ping going. We'll just sting that guy down. Because why not? Yeah, I'm not too worried. There's a plink. There's most of the damage gone. There we go. Nice easy kill.
Uh, razor sharp edge, yes please. Space prism's always fine. Um, hmm. What to pick, what to pick. I only have one heal spell at the moment being awake. Which means the Awoken Hollow is not as good. But it is a scaling unit that I can put on my sweeper. So we're going to take it. And then now... Hmm. Tough calls. Um... I think we are going to go the Merchant's Deal. There's a multi-strike, that's great. And a quick, very cool. All right, um, since I have multi-strike and quick, I'm actually gonna take Holy Shield. I still have to figure out a way to deal with bosses, but Holy's Shield is going to let me survive against Seraph the Diligent or any other stealth boss. Uh, so that's going to be quite useful for me. Alright. Um, yeah, we're just going to drop this here. That would just die down here. Definitely do some of this action. Yeah, damage shield is good because now we can also pump that unit up a bunch. Uh, we plink here. Okay. Now we only take a little bit of damage. Wonderful. All right, that definitely needs to go there. Um, if we get this link, that's gonna kill you. Great. Whoops, I meant to target the back one only. That's most of the damage already dealt. And this is the rest of the damage dealt. There we go. Another nice easy kill. Now we just need to get some life steal or other yeah, we'll take a spreading spores. Why not? Why not be greedy? Right? Alright, take that plus draw. Uh, but we're gonna go the purge route. Plus 30 magic. We're gonna make a super plink. Plus 10 and ping. We're gonna get a good sting going. There's a nice sweeper. Ooh, rooted on the top floor is going to be useful. And we just want a better tank, I think. Right? We're going to get rid of our planks because they are not very good for us. These Merchant of Magics are going to start becoming really nice, though, because I want to get a holdover that's going to help till Seraph. Um, getting a bunch of things to zero cost is also going to help a lot. Oh. 
guess we just do this. Maybe? This might be the call. Now we just need to pump that unit up. All right. Is this going to be good enough? Clearly not. Wow, that actually didn't give me any more damage. Uh, that's kind of surprising, but also very upsetting. Might have messed this one up. Oofed. Yeah, because that's going to be uh, four hits at 25. Yeah. Okay. We can do this better, I'm pretty sure. Still gonna play you center. But we're gonna just start pumping you up instead. Get a little defense going as well. Awesome. If you die, I can uh, waste all my amber up here. damage please now we have to ping down there of what I draw but deciding my fate here. And apparently I drew correctly. Cool. Pyroball is going to be great against Diligent. Uh, more Ember is also going to be good for this type of deck. So Ember Cash is also going to be great. We get that Hope for Peace. That does mean my Purge cards, uh, if I get any more from Temples, aren't actually going to Purge. Plus 5 attack is going to be great on a quick Multi-Striker. Move Consume. Interesting. Um, diligent Fodder? No, extra draw. Extra draw is probably the correct answer. We're going to do that. Um, and we're going to start minus one of these root seeds. Permafrost is not what I need. 
which is unfortunate. All right, let's continue. I think this is fine because I can set up my multi striker top floor. We're just going to start scaling him a little bit. Plink, nice. We get all the good plinks going off. This is great. Uh, we drop this down here. We get rid of that guy. This is all going perfectly currently. Since you're dying, we might as well just pump up that floor and uh, get another spreading spores up top. Awesome. And we're just going to give you a bunch of damage shield. I think that's going to play a lot better into the boss. Uh, shield, get another ping. We might as well get you out of the deck. All right, what do we find? I think 16 damage shield might be able to get me through it. Ooh, it's actually really close. There we go. Now it gets me through nice and easy. Or maybe not nice and easy, but definitely got me through. <laughs> All right, we take that Hell's Banner. That's going to do us well. Um, we can skip that. Another Pyro Girl actually wouldn't have been horrible. Don't really need any of those. We don't need those upgrades. We're definitely seeing this Merchant of Trinkets. Better Stings isn't a bad idea. Value stone. Now, value stone, on the other hand, is definitely going into here. Um, all the free things that all the time is good. This is going to go on something that consumes, anyways. I guess I should have checked this out just to see what it is in case I could have used that minus two better. Um, trample stone. Yes, thank you. All right, we remove two more planks. And we make another great train steward. And we continue it forward. I guess I could have bought that sting, whatever. I made the mistake. I forgot to do it. But we live and let live. Um, we set you up middle. You here. And we'll get a little bit more force space there. All right. Let us go ahead and get this guy a rolling.
yeah, that's not an issue. Um, wonderful. Do something like that. Yeah. That works out quite nicely. Uh, we'll get a little bit of that, but then 14 more damage shield. And I'm pretty sure now I've already won the combat. We're just going to uh, get this floor a little bit more beefy. Let's get these out here. Nothing dies. But if we plink, we do get a morsel, which means now I can perils. Just get some more damage shield. There we go. Yeah, anyways. Ten more damage shield. Ooh. I think we are going to be fine. We just cast a bunch of these. Click and turn. There we go, 51 damage shield. I end with, let's see. 44 damage shield, yeah. I had enough way back when I had 16, like I said I would. Uh, Meat Challenge Song's not horrible, but it's very much not needed for this run. We could have done an Ember, that would have been great too. We are doing more Merchant of Magic shenanigans. Uh, big piercing sting. We're gonna put a purge minus one. We're actually gonna put that on the Umbra Stone. Uh, that is going to make it only a one cost spell and that consumes anyway, so that's great. We make more free root seeds because we like to draw cards. <laughs> and then we end up at the dupe next round. That works for me. And. We might as well make a quick floor, right? That's not gonna hurt. Once again, of course, this is junk guys, which is annoying. Let me just sting a bunch down here. Now we start seeing that damage. And yeah, pump up the top. We do that, the damage shield is gonna help carry us through a bit. We're just going to be seeing a lot of junk for a while, which is unfortunate. That 
That does also miss. Ooh! Taking a lot of damage here. I don't like that. I might just have to bounce those off. Now we can just get the damage shield. For now. Please stop giving me junk. Uh oh. Well, that's a restart, unfortunately. Um, that's not what I want to see. I think what I have to do is I have to play these two center. We're going to play you top. Uh, playing these center will give me that extra round of... Or one less round of getting junk each time, which is going to be very much needed here, it looks like. What? Oh no, that's not, that's not something I can do. We will take a little bit of Ember Drain. Goodness, I actually plinked the guy I wanted to plink. Um, we want to do at least 10 here. That's going to make it so that comes through. And I think like that is our best bet. And then 14 damage shield should be enough to get that kill. At least that's my guess. Yep. So we might as well get rid of stuff. All right. We are rolling now. Nice money. Ooh, and graft is good. Um, I don't think these are needed, so we're going to skip. What do we see here? Chain of Gems is very nice as well. Um, we actually want both of those. And then, of course, we need more minus ones. Uh, we minus one the spreading spores. There's the holdover. Holdover perils is going to be good against Last Divinity. We, of course, still need to get through Seraph.
which I think should be doable. I'm gonna dupe one of these, right? That just seems like the smart move. We can purge a few things. Like the root seeds actually cost me ember. And hmm. Honestly, it's probably just another root seeds. Because I have so much draw already. Alright. Divinity. Not divinity. Diligent. Bring it on. You're my least favorite Seraph. But I'm pretty sure if I simply just play bottom. That is annoying as well. They are making me stink up top. Another kill. And we just bounce these vengeful shards off my face of armor. We sing out that guy, we sing out that guy. We don't use the hold over here because it's not needed. At least not like that. All right. Twelve more damage shield is very good for us. Um, we're gonna consume one of these and we're going to plink up top. Keep bouncing stuff off my face. Uh, 31 damage shield is a good amount of damage shield. It is only 28 now. Yeah, we consume one of those. Get another 10 damage shield. All right. Almost gets us the kill. But I'm pretty sure if, if I draw another damage shield, next floor I get the kill. Which I don't yet.
Uh-oh. Um, that means I do die. Right? But I don't think I can get through 248 damage. Sting, sting, sting. Yep. Ooh, that was close. That was close. I guess I'm going to play my unit's top floor then. Right, you still come bottom. It's actually not who I wanted to hit with that. Plus two, whatever. That slight mount actually matters. I will be upset. Now oh, we're going to do that down here. When you start building up your damage shield in the back. All right. Now we blink. We just bounce some things off of our face. I think this is actually already going a lot better. Um. Get rid of the perils. Oh no, that is actually not good. Well, and it does mean I get a bunch of Ember Drake next round, which is not what I wanted. And is there, there's both shields in here, so we can draw two. Don't see them. Might as well just redraw that, right? Why not redraw it? Goodbye, Sting. Hello, pumping these guys up. Great. I need to remember to put that guy in front, though. Because that way, it's two damage shields uh, blocked for me, and it doesn't eat up my actual guy's good damage shields. Get rid of a spreading spores. Awesome. That guy's gonna take a little bit of damage. You want that guy to die. Is 
now we just have to wait through all the stealth. We are doing a little bit of spike damage each time. And I'll have to be extremely unlikely, unlucky to not draw either of my damage. See, there's one of them. All right, we might as well just put this all on you. All right, six damage shield should be enough. Look at that, still 14 armor left. I was just playing that second floor on top, so I didn't actually get all that, uh, or so I had actually enough time to get my damage shield going and be able to block things. All right, Divinity should be a lot easier. Uh, we're gonna drop you, Space Prism, then all this. Okay. Um, I'm actually guaranteed to see my next perils next round. So we're just going to start doing this. There we go. And this should be able to yield me the game. We put all the pumps into you, and we can alternate the damage shields. Or at least, if not alternate, uh, switch between the targets based on whoever has less damage shield. We want to get rid of that guy here. And I didn't hit the backliner, that's okay. Now that guy is going to be the scariest. We're going to knock him down a couple pegs. Yeah, it makes more sense to do the double sting here. Is that enough to get us through him? Yes. Cool, then we start working on stings on the bottom guy. him do some spreading for action because clearly that's a smart decision
All right. He has, he is rooted, so uh, it doesn't actually matter too much that he has 277 health left over because they're just going to get all stuck there. So of course now the question is, how many Spreading spores do I have? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the deck. And four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There, so I have twenty-one spreading spores. Oh man, this takes long enough. He actually loses some. Oh, he had like no damage shield at all. Okay. So he was relying on his regen. That's pretty funny. More regen than damage though. All right, run summary. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, get a sweeper, scale a sweeper, a little bit of Awoken Hollow scaling, plus some spell scaling, because I'm secondary Awoken, you can do that. Um, fairly straightforward, a couple of issues came in a few places. Let's see, issues were, I believe, Clip Tormentors. I had the junk there. Um, I had Junk in Arcus, I had Junk in the Penitent, I had Junk in Seraph the Diligent. Uh, so there's a lot of having to figure out how I play my floors um, to make sure I didn't just get overwhelmed and could still could play my spells and still kill everything. So yeah, but I think honestly a lot of times I probably could have just played top floor with the Awoken Hollow, or not Awoken Hollow, the Husk Hermit. And that would have been good enough to give me enough time to scale. Um, since I did see Seraph the Diligent, the uh, Hope for Peace, Armageddon Battlefield, I do think this is one of the good times to take um, Thy Holiest Shield. Because that is a lot of damage shield they can get you. And that, especially with the minus two, remove, consume, and two of them, that's at least, you know, two damage shield per cast of them. So yeah, that, that adds up, especially if you have a little bit of Ember left over. But yeah, if you want to try this run yourself, you are welcome to... Dun, dun, dun. The challenge code is exists reason short. All right, thank you for watching and have fun.